What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what is the best indicator for algo trading? Is it RSI, SMA, MACD? What is the best indicator? So let's talk about that. So indicators or technical analysis are basically calculations of showing a price movement for an asset. And to be honest, a lot of them are not that great for finding entry and exit positions. If you're building automated algorithmic trading systems, the goal is to find patterns, right? Find patterns in that asset and try and exploit that for a profit, all right? We find a pattern in asset A and we can exploit that for a profit. You know, for example, say this pattern could be that, you know, the RSI crossing above 30, um, on average, the asset will go up. So we wanna buy around that time and we want to sell, say, when the RSI crosses below 70. Say we find that pattern with that indicator, right? Does that mean RSI is the best indicator, right? No, absolutely not. It's just we found that pattern with that indicator. Generally, price movement for an asset is based on outside factors, right? It's not an indicator. It's not um, the RSI. It's, it's generally a news item, um, some type of new news that has been approached with that asset, you know, has caused the price movement. And, you know, just we just noticed that the RSI did cross above 30, but in fact, the price action of that asset was caused by a news item, right? So what I would say is de there's definitely no best indicator, right? And they will give false signals, of course. There'll be a lot of, um, you know, moments when say an SMA crosses above, but it still continues to tank, crosses down, and you take a loss, right? So definitely there's no best indicators. What I would say if you're trying to build great trading systems, um, automated trading systems use indicators as well a you don't even have to use indicators at all right don't 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 be forced to do that just from what you see online but if you are going to use indicators you know you can use them as a filter right that's that's the best way i explain it is use indicators as a filter to maybe get a better entry price or to use it as a say dynamic exit so here's a very specific example say um you know your you've identified a bull market for an asset right? So on average, the assets going up over X amount of years, um, over a decade, for example, you want to obviously buy along this asset and, and sell it for a higher price, of course, and maybe use an indicator to get a, a lower price. So instead of just buying it immediately, you use the, you know, simple moving average and, and buy when, you know, it's below the simple moving average by say, I don't know, 5%. This is all hypothetical, say below 5%, right? That indicator, that SMA, allows you to enter a rule for your automated trading system to get at, low, at a lower price instead of just buying the first day or or whenever you start running the system you use that sma to get at a lower price so the 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 automated trading system it doesn't enter using the sma primarily the sma for example is just a filter to get at a lower price right and by you getting at a lower price hopefully you can get a bigger profit margin um because you know there's an expected volatility in the future so that would be one specific example where you're using indicators more of as a filter for your trades instead of as a primary entry point for your trades okay there's no best indicators you know rsi is not better than sma macd isn't better than you know money flow whatever it may be there's no best indicator but use them as a filter for your trades and instead for an idea for a trade or let's say a primary um, initiator for your trade, you should be looking at other factors, right? Looking at other patterns. Um, maybe it's based on news. Maybe it's based on, you know, seasonality, the, 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 the month of the year, um, or, or the quarter of the year, or, or maybe it's, it's something about gaps or, or other price actions, but I don't recommend using indicators as a primary initiator because you're going to get a lot of false signals. Um, with that being said, you may be able to find patterns, um, with indicators. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, just take it with a grain of salt, and don't don't put indicators on a pedestal as the one all be all uh, in terms of automated uh, trading. You'll find a lot more success with a lot of other data sources and other alternative um, entries and exits that may I think may may work better in terms of you know uh, true great automated trading. Systems. Anyone that claims or says that their indicator or their maybe their custom indicator is the best, and you should live by live by it and, and trade by it all the time, you know, definitely take that with a grain of salt. Um, it probably only works some of the time and they probably only make content or videos when it works. And, and you know, when it doesn't work, they either don't show it um, or they make a new one to try and counterbalance it. So just be very careful when you're looking at these, you know, systems and, and these, these indicators 
and and you know someone talks about you know it being the best and it works all the time because that's never true nothing works all the time it's it's you know it's about finding patterns and then layering on different strategies to reduce your risk okay so you build strategy a um and then you start working on strategy b strategy a is doing well um and strategy b is uncorrelated to strategy a uh, and then you run it as well. So they're running in parallel at the same time. Um, and because they're both uncorrelated and they're both great strategies from your, your back testing and your out of sample testing um, and stuff like that, you know, they're gonna reduce each other's risks and you'll have a smoother equity curve, okay? That's what it's all about. Finding patterns, exploiting them, and then, you know, launching that strategy and then moving on to the next, you know, adding risk management, position sizing, that sort of thing. So once again, you know, I know I've said this many times, no best indicator, use them as filters um, if you have to, and you don't even have to use them. You, you don't have to use, I have plenty of strategies where I don't use any indicators at all. Um, they're not a must, okay? And um, they're actually, you know, like I said, only use them for filters, that's about it. Um, do not use them as, as primary entry points. So anyways, that's my video, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it and found value. Leave a comment below um, on some of your trading systems, if you use indicators, if you don't, and maybe why I like to hear your side of things. Anyways, this is Jake here. Have a good week and happy holidays. Bye.